Since the 70s, green algae have been proliferating and forming what are called green tides on certain beaches in France, China, and the United States. This phenomenon is strongly linked to intensive agriculture. Indeed, the nitrogen-rich fertilizers used to feed the plants also pour into the sea and feed the algae. The green algae on the beach decompose and produce hydrogen sulfide, a deadly gas for animals and humans. It is therefore a major health risk. Because of olfactory and visual nuisances, green tides also have a strong impact on tourist numbers. It is therefore imperative to collect this large quantity of green algae, which must be destroyed or recovered. One very promising route for recovery is the production of bioethanol that could be blended with gasoline and used by adapted vehicles. This would make it possible to reduce the use of fossil fuels while representing a source of income for the impacted regions. This bioethanol production would be done from ulva, the species of algae most present in green tides, and more specifically from ulven, a sugar polymer present in large quantities in the wall of ulva. Ulven could undergo degradation thanks to specific enzymes recently discovered in the bacterium Formosa agrophila. At the end of this degradation, fermentable sugars would be released, mostly rhamnose. The rhamnose would then undergo fermentation to produce bioethanol. The objective of our project is to define an efficient process to transform ulven into rhamnose and other fermentable sugars using the enzymes from Formosa agrophila inserted in Saccharomyces cerevisiae and then transform it into bioethanol using the fermentation capacity of Saccharomyces cerevisiae and Pichia stipidus. Thanks to this, ulva could ideally become a renewable and profitable source of energy.